football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Minnesota Vikings. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the champions from the NFC, the Minnesota Vikings. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost a Super Bowl in there too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, this may be their best chance to finally break the goose egg, Charles. Still looking, though, for that first Super Bowl victory. And as every Vikings fan can tell you, those were Super Bowls 4, 8, 9, and 11. So going on close to a half century since their last appearance in the big game. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They're led out by the rookie, picked 164th in this past draft out of BYU, Jaron Hall. And as we know and as we've discussed here in the run-up to this game, this is history in the making. The first rookie quarterback to ever start in a Super Bowl. An absolutely tremendous accomplishment, something no one else has done. But he doesn't want to just go down as the first to make a Super Bowl. He's told us all week he's here to win it. They'll start on the ground with Madison. Oh, look at the juke. Frank's through and now a crease. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big run there, 29 yards at a first. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Here's Hall. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Okay, ready? After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Hall. He lets one go deep for Addison. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Now Hall. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 26. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. And he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back. Touchdown, Vikings! Jordan Addison, 26 yards. And the Vikings are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. You know, as a head coach, you can't hide everything from your team. They know that people think that they're not supposed to be on the field with them. So they designed a heck of a game plan, didn't they? Nice fast start, get out after them, and maybe let everyone know that they're here to compete. And get this home crowd behind them early as well. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, isn't it? Because if you get the home crowd involved, sometimes you can ride that wave, and that gives you a little added pep. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. 
And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlin. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Now Mahomes. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback there for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Mahomes again here on second and ten. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Now a second and six. Going to run with Madison again. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's to the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Alexander Madison, 95 yards. And the Vikings will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and again, <laughs> again, and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Joseph on for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown, so decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 14-0 is our score. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. 
It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they felt the pressure coming, and they got him once again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. Returnable here from the 38. Now well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And this offense is going to be set up with a first and 10 inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Madison running left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Alexander Madison, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Vikings continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it, I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there go, right go. from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Mahomes now on first down. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Mahomes now on first down. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Room to maneuver at the 35. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 30. That one goes for 24 yards. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On the ground, this is the former Viking, Jarek McKinnon. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Mahomes to throw on second down. Here's a diving catch right side. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal. Mahomes now to throw. Open there, right side is Rice. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout. 
as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Butker's kick here is good. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it, the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando. And our Both teams making their final adjustments of the season during this long halftime break. Who will claim the Lombardi Trophy? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles in Vegas for the second half of Super Bowl 58. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Now here's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now it's Mahomes again. It's Kelsey on the ground. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's brought down at the 16. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down, here's Mahomes. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Looked that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 77 yards. And the Vikings will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half that's getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? Joseph now to have the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And we see James, he will now return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, Paul. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throw right side, going to be caught by Hardman. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Mahomes to throw once more. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 32 yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. He finds McKinnon complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. A dump down to McKinnon. And here he'll get it down to the 7. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. This likely a must-have. Third and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And that is caught by the bank judge right there say incomplete they can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt and the Vikings defense is going to get the football back so they tried to go for it for pride but it really wouldn't have mattered this one it was already determined no doubt about it this one was over a while ago Ready. going to begin the drive here with Madison Sheds off the tackle, and he'll be out right at the 35. 
171 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the toss, Madison. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And they're going to speed things up here. That one looks like he'll throw here. That's down the field for Jefferson. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Vikings are starting to pour it on at the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know. Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. Well, uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. Now Mahomes. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Rice. Four yards to pick up, first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Well, that one caught by Rice. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. He'll drop to throw. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. That is incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick. Does the big boy have the juice? Should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Joseph on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. 
The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. One final try for Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. And they have done it. The Minnesota Vikings are the Super Bowl champions. And the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the land of 10,000 lakes. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.